Hi everyone, welcome to Gnan Cloud Garage. Uh, in this session, I'm going to talk about how to show hide columns view in vCenter 8 VM tab and host and clusters tab, network tab, data stores tab, and so on. Actually, I got this question from one of our friends and uh, he did some changes on vCenter server and uh, he restarted the few virtual machines and also the ESXi host. He want to know the uptime information, but somehow the uptime tab is not shows in our vCenter console previously. So that's the reason he raised this question. There is a slight change in the latest version vCenter 8. So I would like to show you in this quick byte. Okay, let's quickly log into our demo system and I will show you where we can see this show hide columns view in vCenter 8. So let me log into lab system. Let's say we log into the vCenter server 8 and you can choose select the vCenter 8 and go to the host and cluster tab. We can see ESXi host name, connected state and there is some warnings like uh, whenever we enable SSH there will be some warnings and the cluster is 01. But if you want to add additional options until the vCenter 7 update to 7.0.2 to edition onward uh, until that edition we have an option to add show and add columns here when i select filter or here we can see that to show hide columns wizard but currently from the vcenter 7 update 3 onwards and also the including the vcenter 8 updated editions this option is changed within the same wizard in the right pan in the drop down it's changed you can just see just beside the export option we can see the option here for show columns currently if you see here name state status and cluster is showing if you want to hide the status option just uncheck that will be hide suppose i want to add a uptime actual question i got is you want to see the esxi host uptime so select the esxi host we can see the current host uptime is eight days that means the esxi host was restarted eight days ago okay and the same information even the other details also if you want to see from here let's say which esxi host is master node which is the slave within our HA high availability state enable HA state we can see the ESX host IP ends with 42 is primary and 41 and 43 are secondary nodes okay and same way even if you want to see the version enable the version we can see ESX host version is 8.0 so like this we can show the necessary columns in this tab and even if you want to hide the any unnecessary columns let's say for example I added a NICS information each ESX host have a five NICS in future if you don't want to view the NICS tab you can just uncheck it will be unchecked the same option applicable for VMs tab also if you want to see the uptime in this currently there is no show hide column in the top we can see in the bottom side just beside the export option just click here and you can look for the specific uptime option let's say within the vm there are some additional options also like a guest OS. and if you want to see the uptime select the uptime and even vmware tools status also we can see so all these options we can view here guest OS version information uptime is last restarted was one day ago okay and even vmware tool status also we can see all vmware tools are running even if you want to hide any unnecessary options suppose you want to hide the provision space or host memory information you want to hide you can just uncheck those columns will be hide okay and even if you want to export you can export this information to csv format okay and the same way for data store tab also you can use the bottom beside the export you can use show hide options are here okay and same way it's applicable for networks and also the other tabs also okay hope you got this point how we can show hide suppose if you want hide here just uncheck and check okay and alternatively even if you use the rv tools RV tools also we can export all the information within one export you will find all the detail but from the vCenter tab if you want to verify the specific information this is the option we can use okay so hope you got this point that's it thank you if you are watching this video first time please do view like share and subscribe to the Gnant Cloud Garage channel if you are already subscribed I appreciate all your support bye for now